Okay guys, so starting off, here's just some of my products that I use in the mornings. There's a face oil by the company Wish, and here are the night ones that I use. So this is what I'm going to be using tonight to take my makeup off. It's kind of just my skincare routine and how I take my makeup off. There's my oil-free makeup remover from Neutrogena, and then just some woven cotton round pads. So starting with that oil-free eye makeup remover that I have, which I'm running out of, I just take usually about three pads, sometimes only two, and I take the first one and I put the product on it. And after I've done that, this is the pad that I'm going to take the majority of my face makeup off of with, um, like with my foundation and concealer and all of that. So I just go around my skin as much as possible and then up into my hairline because I get a lot of makeup there. Also, I love how this frame right now is right on my baby hairs that I didn't pin back. So please ignore that. They're so distracting. So as you can see, there's just a bunch of product from my makeup. And yes, I have self-tanner on too, so ignore that as well. And so I go back over with the second pad just over my eyebrows, over my eyelids, get all of my eyeshadow and, and everything off. And then I kind of just let the makeup remover sit on my eyelashes until I go on to the third cotton pad, which with the third cotton pad, that is what I use to take off my mascara because that is definitely the hardest product for me to get off my face. And what I love about this is it has a silicone texture, the Neutrogena makeup remover, and so it kind of stays sitting on your on your face and I use that to use warm water with to remove the remaining remaining makeup. As you can see here, I've got a bunch of mascara coming off still and there's definitely still a lot of foundation coming off as well and it's nice because I don't have to have any other product to be getting the rest of that makeup off with. I just continue to rub off my Neutrogena makeup remover. So after I've pat after I pat my face dry with the towel, I go back in and I let the water get cooled and I usually pat that into my face just to close my pores and moisten my skin since while you're sleeping you have a good eight hours of time that your face is just kind of marinating in whatever you've done the night before so all of the moisturizer I put on and all of that is going to be making my skin just so luscious overnight while I sleep. So now that my skin feels nice and clean and I don't match the rest of my body anymore with my fake tanner, I'm going to take my facial moisturizer, which I think I got at Target. I don't remember, honestly, but maybe Walmart. I don't know. And I just put that moisturizer all over my face, my lips, my eyebrows, everything. That might sound really weird, but I have super, super dry skin and... It just helps my skin get so, so moisturized, especially living in Utah and having such cold, dry weather. I need to moisturize because it's just a disaster for my face. So I put that everywhere and it helps with my makeup the next day. I've noticed too that it has a much smoother, more hydrated base for my foundation and my eyeshadows and they blend so much better. So next I'm taking my Mario Badescu um, Rose Water Facial Spray. I love this stuff. It smells so good. It feels good. It just, it just adds a little kick of moisture to my skin. And it's very calming. So I love doing it right before bed because it's just a soothing spray to put on before I go to sleep. And next, I usually end up changing into my nighttime clothes, my comfy clothes. And I use my Plus White 5-Minute 
really more like 10 to 15 minute whitening gel. I have literally been using this since fourth grade, you guys, and I haven't actually used it in a few years. And recently, I just felt like I needed a little bit more whitening again. And so I get this from Walmart. It's like six bucks or something like that. It's super cheap. And normally I put it in the tray that comes with it. There's a blue mouth guard that you use and I couldn't find it. So I just set it on my teeth for 10 minutes. And then when the 10 minutes is up, I use my 3D whitening um, toothpaste by Crest. I love that stuff. I swear it works miracles, you guys. And I just brush the remaining teeth whitener away, which it gets kind of foamy after 10 minutes. So after I do that, I just kind of pat my face dry again. And then I use my Burt's Bees Mango, or I actually really like the coconut um, flavored chapstick. And again, this is just going to moisturize your, your lips at night while you're sleeping. And then I take my Shea Moisture Hibiscus and Coconut Radiance Mud Mask. I love this. It smells so good. Um, I didn't do it this night in particular. I ended up skipping this step, but normally at night I will do that. And I do it before I do my moisturizer and all that routine. It smells amazing. And I just got that at Walmart as well. And then usually at night I fill up this huge cup of water and I keep it by my bed so I can continue to moisturize. And wow, look at me just barely finding my baby hairs. <laughs> anyway, I just like to keep my skin as glowy as possible and I swear drinking a lot of water helps detox your face so you don't have impurities and things like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.